everybody. Um, this is this is the first uh, parish council meeting. Well, that's only a committee meeting. It's the first parish council meeting that we've had by by uh, or virtual meeting. So, a new experience for us all. Um, just to point out that we're on the economy version at the moment. So we've only got 40 minutes, which is probably down to now half an hour. So we need to resolve what we're going to resolve by uh, within, within sufficient time. I just mentioned that so that um, we do try and be uh, as precise as possible. Um, it will follow the usual format, um, but there are some housekeeping rules. Those of you that use Zoom before know that there is uh, a bit of a time delay, so interruptions don't um, don't go down too well. You then get the sort of who's who's talking next. So if you can let one person finish and then join in, um, and it's probably best if you press the mute button because if you cough or something, it will probably think you're going to talk. Um, and therefore, just like Peter's done, he's made a noise. The the the, the band's gone round. So if you can mute yourselves, that will be better. Otherwise, Nicola will need to mute everybody and it will be a bit sort of, I wish to talk now, please. So if we can keep it as fluent as we can. Um, and I think that's about it, is Nicola? What else do I... Oh, and also Nicola will be recording it. You need to know that, that she's recording it um, because she's, as a host, she's got all sorts of controls over who's speaking and who's on video and whatever. So there's not enough... Uh, um, well, it's difficult to keep minutes as well, so she'll be looking at this afterwards to do the minutes. Um, and Graham, I'll be recording as usual as well. Yep, yep, yep. Um, okay, so I think that's about it. Uh, so we, we start off the meeting in the usual manner. Um, apologies for absence. Looks like we're all here, all six of us. Um, and then we close the meeting and we open it to parishioners who wish to, to speak. And again, this section is for 10 minutes only um, and we will have to be... Sorry, Graham, you need to do declarations of interest. Oh, sorry. Yes, I haven't. one of the things I haven't quite worked out is split screen, so I'm working from memory with them from the, uh, the agenda. I, I don't call up the agenda in case I lose you all, so um, I'm sure we'll get a bit more proficient at this, so yeah. Um, I must ask the councillors, any, any declaration of interest? Has anybody got an involvement with the application tonight? Shake of heads? No, that's fine. Okay, so I can now close the meeting. And any parishioner wish to speak on, on what's to be discussed? Andy, anybody else? Shah, Dave Ruddy? Is, is Shah here, by the way? He's on mute. Okay. So is it just Andy who wishes yeah, to speak? Yeah, I'm here. You are here. Okay. Because we, we have received comments from um, parishioners, so uh, I can I can mention what they are afterwards. But um, I would like to, Graham, when you get there. Yeah. Okay. So it's it's three minutes per person, up to maximum of ten. So it's just you and um, Andy. So three minutes each, that'd be fine. Andy, far away. Yeah, uh, I just want to reiterate uh, the comments I've put into the planning application uh, to the revised uh, application. Um, I, I, I see, I'm guessing uh, the only revision is the moving of the entrance further up church end, uh, away from the main junction, uh, which I don't think will make a huge amount of difference. So my main objection to its current uh, application is the amount of traffic it will push out of the junction at uh, uh, church end onto Potton Road. Uh, there's currently uh, 50,000 vehicles traveling through the village every day. Um, as you know, we've got the speed indicator device located right by that junction, so it's a perfect place to, to measure what's going on there. We're getting well over 50% of all vehicles exceeding the speed limit, uh, and we're getting something like, I'm just having a quick look at numbers here, um, about 8,000 uh, exceeding 40 miles an hour and 300 exceeding 50 miles an hour past that junction, so it is just a, a death trap waiting to happen. Um, so my objection is that putting at least 36 vehicles, if everybody's got a vehicle on that development, plus all the delivery vehicles and visitors, it's going to increase the percentage of traffic quite considerably at that dangerous junction. Um, I put a suggestion as well, that perhaps they might consider moving the exit uh, at the other end of the development out onto the Potton Road, uh, almost where the village exit is further south of that junction significantly, which means you're getting the traffic away from a very high speed location down the hill to somewhere that's, that's heading out of the village. So uh, that was just the suggestion I put into the planning office as part of my objection. So that's my comment. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, uh, right, now, David. Um, well, I concur with what Andy just said about the traffic. 
Uh, and from what I can see, uh, I spent about an hour this afternoon just looking through all the results page on the HCC and what people have said and all the different. My objections haven't haven't changed at all. Exactly as I put in my because they've done nothing about it. There's no real substantial change. So all of my objections are still valid. The only thing I would say is that um, about the surface water, I was interested to read um, other um, comments on the HDC website, what people are saying about that surface water. And it is about surface water, not, not flooding. I still don't think that's been resolved either. I mean, I don't know if you've had a chance to look on the HD website and look at all of the different comments by the different, and they're basically none of them say anything. That's it really, Graham. I think I, I don't think okay. we've moved forward at all. No, I suppose okay. that's welcome to the world of planning, is it? Uh, <laughs> well, but yeah, okay. Um, fine, okay, so we'll, I'll close the meeting and we'll go into the uh, the, the um, parish council discussion point now we were all there apart from from sharon so um you you, you were at the previous meeting when we resolved the, the manner we did since then i've had a, uh, a few comments from parishioners um one refers to the insufficient number of uh, car parking spaces for the, the houses that are planned um and two comments refer to the um the fact that the junction has been moved um, opposite uh, or nearer to houses. So um, those are the comments that we received so far. Um, I don't know whether, say, as far as it's been mentioned before, the only changes really are the fact that the the, uh, the junction or the entrance into this uh, proposed development has has moved further down the road, so it is further away from um, Potton Road. But I'd also add that one of the comments that's in there is from CCC's highways and they seem to think it's all quite acceptable and that the amount of traffic that this development would generate is not going to influence things so um i wouldn't want to dwell too much on that one my own personal thoughts might be something different but i'm i feel that ccc will will carry more weight than we do um open to the floor uh, parish councils that is hello hi sorry this is Shah speaking I'm sorry, we're in closed session now. You're going to have sorry, to listen. Apologies, to I'll pick up on the button. Apologies. Okay, thank you. May I? I've unmuted. Can you hear me? Yep. Okay. Um, so I also spent some time this afternoon reading through, and the, the proposal that is before us is purely about the change of access to the site. It's not about the development. Um, the... Cambridge County Council say, uh, yeah, it's all right, but you've got to, they have to widen the entrance of Potton Road, of the junction at Potton Road to five metres. Um, but no matter how many turn, times you turn the barrel of a kaleidoscope, this is not, a, the, the actual thing is not what the village wants, is it? We've had comments, the overriding number of um, comments about this proposed development is that it's not what the village wants. It's got no benefit to the village. It falls outside the uh, village, the local plan, um, it's only for the benefit of one set of people, it's not for the benefit of Hilton, and we should write back to HTC and say our views haven't changed and, you know, no matter what you say, tweaking access does not address the issue that we don't want the development. Okay, thank you Peter, and you had your, your hand up. To reiterate that and to say that the response that we sent previously, which was all about the local plan and the extent to which this development doesn't meet uh, requirements. Um, I, I, for me, it seems like a no-brainer, slightly shifting that uh, access point and widening the uh, exit entrance onto Potton Road um, it potentially is worse. But uh, and nevertheless, that's only one aspect because we actually raised a number of things related to the local plan so they still stand okay thank you um does anybody other parish councils wish to say anything um Kieran? oh sorry i didn't sharon i, I saw you i saw your hand was on oh, you were having a scratch <laughs> sharon <laughs> Um, yeah, I've also written to HDC opposing the um, scheme. I mean, uh, to me, it's overdevelopment of the site because um, a the parking will be a massive issue because 
there will be at least 40 cars in there because some families will have three vehicles and also it's it's just so dangerous because of the exit even though they've moved the access um to my mind the road is actually even more narrow there um and there's quite a, a dip in the road um and i just think at it's overdevelopment of the site. I think, you know, maybe if they wanted to build, I don't know, three to five houses on there, that might be acceptable. But 18 is just, um, it's not in keeping with the street scene and um, all of the houses down that road are individually built on that side of the road. There's no kind of great massive um, semi-detached houses. Um, along church end at all so um i just think it's completely um uh, they're compacted in and it, it's going to cause traffic chaos at that end of the road it really is plus the main road i think andy's suggestion of if there is ever a development the the exit being on the b1040 is probably a good idea but i don't know whether highways would agree to that so um but i have written to hdc as well so that's all I want to say. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Kieran, do you wish to speak or is it... Uh, yeah, no, just to, um, uh, yeah, I agree with everything that's been said here. Uh, just from a parish council perspective, it does seem that the local plan is our best way of, is our strongest lever to try and um, uh, make uh, you know, our concerns known. The things in the parish plan that we've already identified for this development that completely contradicts are the things I think we should try and stick to because it is absolutely, um, with, you know, you can't really argue against it. There are things like the small settlement clauses, the countryside bit, LP10, design context, amenity, all these things are completely um, at odds with this development proposal. So if we can stick to that and not get to scattergun over our response i think we have a better chance of uh, halting this okay thank you um rob um you don't have to say anything but uh, you're the only person that hasn't said anything but if you're happy to go along with i'll, I'll quickly chip in i'll just again reiterate i think um most of the key points have been made so i i agree we need to represent the village on this and the, the you know it's clear that people don't want this proposal to go ahead for lots of reasons I think I think we've got to be realistic though as well to to I can't remember who made the point, but Cambridge County Council have given their view and deemed some of this some of this access problem as acceptable. So for us to go and say it isn't, um, probably won't it'll fall on deaf ears. So I think you're right, Kieran. We need to go back to the things that are very clear that this contravenes. And I think you know density is one. Uh, um, the closeness to other houses around it on that side of the road in particular. Um, I think there's only eight houses on Church End on, on the uh, south side. Uh, so for 18 on additional is quite a substantial change. So um, I, I think those are the type of things that are going to have more influence than just saying we don't like the access when CCC have almost said it's not such a problem. So I think we should we could probably highlight we're not convinced. Bear in mind the data we've got around speeding maybe, but I think um, to focus on the bits that are relevant and we can clearly say contravene policy are going to probably be carrying more weight. Okay, thank you much. Okay, so so based on that, I'm going to post. Well, obviously, um, the comments that we made. Um, I think it would. It's going to be uh, the, the parish council is not in favour of this development. It's a question of how we how we send our response back. Um, I don't know how many of you have studied the letter we sent back last time, but the planning detail was at the top of the or the first page or two, and then we we mentioned. Um, uh, parts of their planning application and we mentioned traffic now it would seem that if we just take off the traffic bit uh, and the um, uh, parts that they've made in their application that we just we were focusing on the the planning matters um, would that be acceptable uh, yeah. from my point of view definitely oh. okay and the the given the number of comments from uh, villagers to the traffic issues that they foresee it's not like it's it's seen to be resolved by the solution they've proposed mm. okay so i mean we could well, um, i think our response would be we, we oh peter 
I think we should be just telling HDC that no matter how you dress it up, it's not a proposal that the village wants. Mm. But I mean, you, 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 we have to have and reasons for the why. reasons that we outlined in our letter, the reasons that Dave Ruddy outlined in his letter of the uh, 4th of February, was it, Dave? Something like that, I believe. I've got the date down here somewhere. Um, he's 11th not, he's of February. Not, he's not allowed to talk and to nothing's you. changed. Just because you've moved access does not change the fact that we don't want the, we don't want the proposal. Thank you very mm. much. But I say we, we, we have to respond in, a, in, in matters that sort of are, are planning speak. Um, hmm. So I would suggest that our letter would say something along the lines of um, we note the changes. However, these do not address our, our objections. Um, yeah. And whether we rewrite the letter or whether we just direct people back, or direct um, HTC back to original letter, um, it, I'm open to suggestion really. Whether we need to write a new letter or just say, and. And the additional um, villager comments that we've had since the last time. Yeah, I mean, uh, but HTC would have would have seen the um, the uh, sixteen comments on the on the uh, website. At the sure. moment, so, they, so they would have but seen the, those. The, but the the point I'm making is that you know we're representing the village, and yes. in our response, uh, we've got all the stuff about the the local plan. Um, but in addition, you know, we have a number of villagers local to that area, some of them for sure, um, who don't ag agree or foresee issues rather than agree with this change having made much of a difference. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Um, okay, so I mean, are you, uh, I'm not too sure how to propose this, but I mean, um, in essence, I would propose that we have a letter that goes in noting the um the change to the entrance but that fundamentally it's our objections remain now it's been difficult to write a letter publicly now so if you're happy for myself and nicola to compose something based on what we've seen or what we've heard tonight um yeah. i mean the letter it was a similar matter to last time the letter was composed three or four days after the meeting and i think we were generally happy uh, with what what went in so um, yep. If you're happy with that, I'm getting nods, so I'm going to propose that. Have a second, please. Second, is that Anne? Are you seconding? Yeah. Yeah, Anne, second. Yeah. Can I have a, a, a all in favour? That's the way we go. From the council, yes. We're raising, raising of hands, Kieran. Fine. That's generous. Okay. Thank you very much. Um, um, sorry. Could I just um, say that obviously there is another parishioner on this. Um, chat called Shah and I think they were trying to say something but I'm not sure whether they understood that the no, part well, of the open and closed yeah, meeting. This is, this is one of the issues with with the the meeting that we're doing I mean luckily this is a, a planning meeting rather than a, a full one yeah um, and it's following on from previous comments and things so um, I, I have mentioned what uh, Shah was saying about the entrance because it's actually uh, the entrance is closer to his property so that's that's the part that was being addressed um, so we will. Oh, right. So after this, after this meeting, um, I think we've we've kind of finished now, Nicola, haven't we? We've done the legals. Yeah. One point. Could I just say, can Hang we on. remind anybody, any parishioner that's watching this meeting, that if they have objections, they should lodge them at Huntingdon District Council on the website, please. Mm -hmm. um, and perhaps I've mentioned it to the guy who wrote to me, um, because. We don't, we're not the decision makers, are we? People need to write and put their legal comments on HDC's website. Yeah, okay. Well, thank you much. Um, I'll, I'll close the, the planning meeting now, but I would just say that uh, as it's our first one, I'd be happy to receive feedback um, just to see how it's gone and where, how it could be improved. Um, it is a totally new experience for myself and hopefully for everybody else. Um, so if there's any sort of comment that how things can be changed or improved, then um, I'll uh, I'll treat them with the necessary <laughs> um, appreciation. Okay. Graham, um, so, am I allowed to comment or not? Well, we we, we have now closed. I just checked. Nicola, are we okay? We've closed. Yeah. Well, the meeting's closed, so this is not being minuted now. It's not being minuted, so uh, hopefully okay. Andy isn't recording it. So say what you like.